Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about how to bake a high poly model onto a low poly model. And this baking process is where you can use a low poly model, but the textures have the high poly frequency applied to them. So I use a technique where I bake the normal maps and some displacement maps in ZBrush, and then I bring them into Substance Painter and use them instead. Now you can uh, just bake everything in Substance Painter, but if you if you want to do a normal map in Substance Painter with from a very high density mesh, it's going to be a bit hard. Substance Painter can't handle too many polys. So we're going to bake them in ZBrush. So let's start this. So here in ZBrush I have a I just have a sphere 3D. I just pressed Sphere 3D, I got a Sphere 3D right here. I'm going to make Polymesh 3D. And that one thing you need before you bring anything into Substance Painter is a UV map. Now, Sphere 3D in in, in uh, ZBrush, uh, the way you see if you have a UV map, if you come down to UV map and there's a delete UV map, it means that you have a UV map. But in I tried this in ZBrush, it uh, gives you a little bit of a problem. Uh, so if I morph UV, yeah, there's a UV map there, but this UV map is not working very well. I've tried this before. So the best thing I can do, what I can do here is either do my UVs in another application like Maya, or just come here to UV master and press unwrap. And now we have a different UV and this UV is actually going to work in Substance Painter. So I'm going to come to geometry. <sighs> I'm going to divide these up till I get to about 2 million polys. 2 million polys is fine. And I'm going to do a few things. Uh, first, I'm going to drag an alpha here. Like so. And then I'm just going to make do a little bit of a sculpting. I'm just going to sculpt something here. Like so. And maybe do some creases there so that we get an idea and maybe drag a different a different alpha this time maybe one of these zbrush alphas and now when you're using alphas uh one thing to keep in mind is i actually have an intensity here up to 25 i could use like 15 or something like that but uh, if the alpha is so such low intensity, it's not going to come through when you bake it. Uh, it's actually kind of messy here. I'm going to take that one off and take some of this stuff out of here and just use that. So now I have my eye, eye poly and using the subdivisions, if I come down, this is my low poly. So first thing I'm going to need is a low poly mesh. So I'm going to come to Z plugin. And I'm going to come to the FBX import export and you can copy this uh, configuration right here. What's selected and what's not. And I'm going to go to export. Actually, I just options. Smooth normals amount. I usually have it at 100. So I'll just export this as my low poly mesh. And I'll just leave that name there. And I come here and I say low. You don't have to do this. This is more it's mainly important if you're using a lot of subtools but i like to do it anyway so i export my low poly mesh i come here and i export my high poly mesh so come back to z plugin export and this is going to be my high poly mesh save okay if i look exported it shows up uh, a little box shows up here saying file exported i paused the video so we didn't have to to look at the the time that it takes uh one thing that i should mention is if you if you i'm working with two million polys here if you're working with like let's say uh, 30 million polys or something like that you might want to come down to decimation master pre-process current and then decimate current with a certain amount of decimation. You can check out some other videos about using this decimation master and using the decimated version as your iPoly instead of the uh, doing straight up 
uh, the, the IS subdivision and using the iPoly like I did here. So I'm only having uh, 2 million polys, so I'm not going to worry about that. Now, uh, next thing, next step is we have our high poly and our low poly. We come to Multimath Exporter. And I'm going to export displacement. And let's talk a little bit about displacement. These settings right here that you can see here, they're fine. They're fine for your displacement. Uh, I'm doing a map of 4K. You can go up to 8K if you push this up. You can use these presets here, bring it back to 4K, whatever. Now, when I work with UDIMs, I leave EXR on. But here I'm not using UDIMs. So I turn off EXR, otherwise it's not going to work in uh, Substance Painter. Uh, if I'm saying something wrong, please guys, use the comment section below and tell me off. Now, I'm also going to export my normals. And in this place in map and also in normal, you have the subdivision level. This is just saying um, what subdivision level you want to use as your low poly. So uh, I used subdivision level when I exported my low poly, uh, subdivision level 1, so I'm going to use level 1. If I use 2, I could come here and set level 2. If this doesn't match up, it's not going to work. So for my normal map, I got tangent, smooth UV, smooth normals, and I'm flipping G because I'm going to work with direct X. Uh, I believe that if you use um, OpenGL, you don't have to flip the G. But I'm using DirectX in Substance Painter uh, because it's for Unreal. And I have that. So flip V on, map border 16. You can copy the settings if you like. Now, one important thing is uh, here in file names, if you come to file names, uh, I got uh, UV tile needs to be off unless you're working with UVs. If you're working with UVs, you just have turn on UDIMs, I, UVs, I mean, if you're working with UDIMs, you just have to place UDIMs in there. So press OK there. Now displacement and normal, create all maps, save it to wherever you want to. It's going to do your, uh, your suffix at the end. So let's save. I'll pause the video for now. OK, all maps created. And now we're ready to go into Substance Painter. So here in Substance Painter, I'll come to File, New. And I'm not working with UDIMS, so I want, I'll want i leave that off. So I'll select my low poly mesh, press Open. I like to work with 4K, but you can do 2K, whatever. Uh, you left more definition the, the higher you go. So I'll just add my maps, my displacement map and my normal map, press Open say okay let's discard what i had there before so this is my low poly now if i apply my normal map i get this and the reason why i have a displacement map is because uh it gives you a little bit more detail and the way you use displacement maps in substance uh this is substance 2018 so it doesn't support displacement maps maybe a later version will the way i do this is i have a fill layer let me just delete these layers, not there anymore. A few layer, let's call it displacement map. And right click on it, add a bitmap mask. Now just add something here. So I come back, I come back to select this fill and I'll grab my displacement map, place it in there. And I am in project, so what I imported comes into project. So I import it in there. Uh, just I don't need any of this. I'm just going to use the height channel. So I'll give it a little bit of height there. The reason I don't see that yet is because I need to add something else here. So I'll, what I'll add is uh, levels. So in my levels, I'll press auto. I got levels up in there. Now I come back here and I can see my height using my displacement map right there. So, if you want to get need, if you need more um, control, let's say this is not enough control for you, you can come here, select your height blending mode, and then you can come here and you have a bit more control over here. So you can see the difference, tiny difference, but it makes a, it makes a difference in the end. 
and that's how I do it. That's how I use uh, displacement maps and uh, do the normal uh, map. Now the rest of the maps you can bake them right here in uh, Substance Painter. And the reason I, like I said before, I didn't use the normal, I didn't bake the normal map because Substance Painter doesn't handle, can't handle uh, really high poly meshes. So I can just come here and maybe say 4K. I like the dilation to be at around 16. And I'll select here my high poly mesh that we exported. High poly, open. And I like to have my max frontal distance to about 004. And the same thing for the rear distance. And I come down here and several subsampling uh, 8 by 8 I usually the highest you go the better quality you left of your bake I'm not using ID maps so I'm just gonna take that off thickness is not usually used uh, like I said normal we already have it and I'll press bake and pause the video all right now, now that the baking process is done we have all the maps that we need to start texturing so we baked space normal or ambient occlusion curvature etc now i run into a problem my computer ran out of memory because i was using if i press bake mesh maps again my subsampling was at 8 by 8 so my computer ran out of memory if you run into any problems like that you can just go and do a 4x4 four four or even 2x2 two two if 4x4 four four doesn't work so to recap You need to have UVs, so you can come down, Z plugin, first step, come to UV master, unwrap, you get new UVs, or you can do UVs in another program. Uh, FBX export, make sure you're in the lowest subdivision. Go to Z plugin, FBX export, export your low poly mesh, bring your subdivisions all the way up to the top. Z plugin export your eye poly mesh. Go into multi map exporter, select your displacement and your normal, and you can you can use these settings here. So settings for displacement, EXR if you're using um, UDIMS, no EXR if you're not using UDIMS. Here's your normal map configuration. Go into file names so you can set these up, override existing files or not. Uh, UDIMs off if you're not using them obviously and if you're using them set this to UDIM. Create all maps, come into Substance Painter, press File, New, select your document resolution, select your low poly mesh, add your textures, select choose your normal as soon as you add your textures add a fill layer pressing this icon here right click add bitmap mask gives you a bitmap mask with a fill inside a bit that fill you just grab your displacement map so place it there add the levels going to generating add levels as soon as you add the levels you press auto and here you can Turn everything off but height. Move the height slider a bit up, up a little bit. If you need more control, come here to the height um, blending mode and you can control that a little bit better here in the height blending mode. And that's it. So if you like this video and like to see more videos like this, uh, support me on Patreon. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. Press the little bell symbol to get new videos uh, notifications. And I'll see you in the next video.